Hi there, James Farnan here, and welcome to Happy Hour, the show created by you, the viewer. In the craziness of this pandemic, it can sometimes be easy to overlook the effect it's having on our children. And with that in mind, we're kicking things off with a special message just for them. I want to thank you all for helping us slow the spread of COVID-19. And to all the kids out there, all of a sudden you've heard you can't go on play dates or have sleepovers. Your playgrounds and schools have closed and your March break was certainly different than what you'd hoped for. Get it from my kids as well. They're watching a whole lot more movies, uh, but they miss their friends. Uh, and at the same time, they're worried about what's going on out there in the world and what their future may hold. I know this is a big change, but we have to do this not just for ourselves, but for our grandparents, our nurses, our doctors, and everyone working at our hospitals. And you kids are helping a lot. The doctors and scientists have been clear that social distancing, which means staying at least two meters apart and staying home as much as possible, is the best way to help each other. And you're having to wash your hands a lot. So a special thanks to all you kids. Thank you for helping your parents work from home for sacrificing your usual day, for doing math class around the kitchen table, and for trusting in science. Let's make sure we all do our part. Let's fight this together. Up next, Nathaniel in Nanaimo is having a tough time dealing with a difficult director in quarantine. Hey, um, so pandemic's gone a little bit worse outside. Um, the officials are telling us that we should self-isolate in our homes. Um, we don't really know for how long, could be weeks, months, we have no idea, but um, just thought I'd let you know. I don't believe you. Pardon? You didn't quite sell it to me, that performance. Here's a script. Take it, read it, memorize it. Then go back to your one and we'll try it again. Um, my, my one, your first position. Just go outside and do it again. Uh, but first I wanna give you just a really, really quick note. Um, you have to open the door with a sense of urgency. You know, we're in a pandemic, right? So you got to give me that motivation, make me feel like that there is a dire situation that we are in. Proceed. Okay. Did I call action? Uh, oh, sorry talent. Just do it again, but I, I need more urgency from you opening the door. Have, have you ever seen uh, Emperor's New Groove? Yeah. You know when Cusco opens the door, slams it open, and says boom baby? Yeah. Do it like that. Just like that. Okay. Action. Boom, baby. No, don't say boom, baby. Uh, you said- Stick to the script. Okay, I just want to try something else here. I'm just spitballing. Let's say the lines. Um, again, just trying something. You know what? How about you just tell it to me like it's a regular conversation. Just casually tell me about it. Let's give that a go. Action. Hey, um, so the pandemic's gone a little bit worse out there. Um, the officials are telling us to stay inside, um, self-isolate, and we don't know for how long, for weeks, months, um, but just thought I'd let you know. Cut print, that was absolutely perfect. Oh, you, sir, are an absolute genius. Awesome. 
However, I would love for you to do the exact same thing again, but better. <laughs> we almost got it. Huh. You know what? I think the first take was the best one. Our time in isolation can also be an opportunity to experience the wonders of nature, like the gooey ducks buried in the sands of Qualicum Beach, BC. What happens when you jump beside them? Well, let's find out. Shorts. <laughs> Stay tuned, there's more happy hour coming up after the break. Welcome back. Up next, a sidewalk serenade from Stephanie in Kelowna for those folks stuck in their homes. One of the benefits of our current situation is the chance to enjoy a little peace and quiet in the comfort of our own homes. But as this next video demonstrates, that's not always the case for everyone. May 2nd. Most people get to spend time alone during this pandemic. But most people aren't puppeteers. Yeah. 
Shut up! What's going on in here, guys? Now, somebody forgot only you know the password to the Disney Plus. That's not my fault. I'm just trying to close a pop-up ad. Oh, how did you get a pop-up? It wasn't me. Uh-huh. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> With all this going on, sometimes I forget I have a human on me. This is why I take you on. to Cape Town, South Africa now for another installment of Reese's Diary of an Isolated Kid. For today's video, we'll be going camping. Follow me. This looks like the perfect spot. Let's set up this tent. It should take a couple of seconds. Don't forget your sleeping bags. Thanks, John. Thanks, Talia. Pump up your mattress. And what is camping without a campfire? Wait for night to fall. And of course, you have to tell your brother horror stories. Hey Hayden, once upon a time, we were forced to go into lockdown for three whole weeks. Good night everyone, and sleep tight. So I'm always getting puzzles for Christmases and birthdays and I have every intention of putting them together but never find the time to. But that's not really a problem anymore, so uh, let's get started. Oh, thank you. Cool. Thank you for the tools. Out there, buddy. And baby? Is that your baby? Buck. Baby Bach. Welcome back. Our next submission comes to us from Prince George, where Sky trades video games for an adventure in his own backyard, finding some tasty lunch along the way.
Well, that's all for now. Thanks for joining us. How have you been spending your time? Send us an email with all the details to happyhoursjrb.ca for your chance to have it air nationally on Happy Hour. While you're at it, be sure to visit shawspotlight.ca and of course follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter at Shaw Spotlight. I'm James Farnan. Thanks to all our contributors and we'll see you next time on Happy Hour. <laughs>